Hello, good morning from the Mathematics Academy. Here in this question you will see that if AD is not equals to BC, then we have to prove that this quadratic equation has no real root. First of all, what is the meaning of no real roots? It means if the discriminant that is D is less than equals to zero means negative, that means no real root. It means we have to find out the first D and we know that the D is equals to B square minus 4AC. Now, first of all, let us see the value of ABC from the quadratic equation as this is the value of A, this is the value of B and this is the value of C. So I'm writing here, first of all, the value of A that is a square plus b square the value of b that is twice of ac plus bd also the value of c that is c square plus d square now we start to find the value of discriminant that is d and d is b square minus four times ac now on putting the value here, we get the B as 2 AC plus BD whole square as this is square minus 4 times AC A is A square plus B square and the C is C square plus D square. Now 2 square is 4 a plus b whole square it means first of all the square of the first term that is a square c square the square of the second term that is b square d square also twice of first and second term that is 2 a c into b d now multiplying these terms minus 4 a square with c square that is a square c square a square with d square that is plus a square d square b square with c square b square c square and b square with d square that is plus b square d square now on simplification we get 4 times a square c square plus 4 times b square d square plus 4 into 2 8 ac bd now on multiply this we get minus 4 a square c square minus 4 a square d square minus 4 b square c square also minus plus minus that is 4 b square d square now let us see which terms may be neglect which terms may be cut from here we see that 4a square c square is positive and here negative so these two terms may be uh, cancelled with each other also 4 times b square d square 4 times b square d square these also cancel with each other and we'll be left with the three terms now continue with the three terms first of all writing the minus 4 times a square d square again minus 4b square c square and 8 ac bt so taking the minus as common, we get minus 4 as common, that is a square d square plus b square c square minus 4 to the 8 a c b d. So now we want to convert this into the whole square, completing the square, it means minus 4. This is a d whole square, this is b c whole square. And this is twice of AD and BC. Now this is the formula of A square plus B square minus 2AB that is A minus B whole square. So maybe write it as like minus 4 AD minus BC whole square. So here the one condition is given that AD is not equals to BC. It means AD is not equals to BC. So AD and BC cannot be cancelled with each other. Therefore, 
this becomes less than zero as this is the positive this term is positive but this is negative and negative into positive is always negative and the negative is always less than zero therefore we also know that if t is less than zero there is no real root hence this equation has no real root thank you friends